Hi everybody, hi there, you're the Yorkshire Crafter. I think I've got everything ready, apart from these two will have to be cut down when I get to end, providing it hasn't taken too long, just for backing. So I'll just put them to the side. Are you all well today? It's a nice wet day here today, very wet. Um, yeah, snow's going now because of the rain. It's definitely warmed up a, a tad. Um, right. I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favour. Like, I, I just, I've done another video, but I don't know which one's going up first, this or that one. But I did state on the other one, I asked if people could, um, again, share my page. Because I don't know what's going on. Or whether people just genuinely don't want to watch it's just that i was doing so well and all of a sudden it's like it's just stopped and i don't know whether people are getting notifications which i know happens a lot with facebook and what have you um i just don't know what's going on so if you lot could share for me and any interaction whatsoever i would be truly grateful Let's get me back up there. I was doing so well. Right, I'm just going to try and move this camera more towards me without... Hmm? Please don't fall off. Oh. Oh, you're still there. That will look right. So, I'm starting on a smaller piece of card. This is multifarious. Not multivarious like I keep saying. <laughs> I know somebody pulled me up on it. Not in a bad way at all. And I thought it was quite funny. Because I know what it is. But yeah, when I look back, I do say it wrong. So it's not multi-various. It's multi-various. So there we go. Right. This is a 6x6. And I wanted the card to be a 5x5 five five to put on a 5.5x5.5 five 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 to put on a 6x6 six six base. But on my practice, I didn't make it. So it looks like I'm going to have to make my own card base. Right, what I've done here, I've used my biggest circle from my Hero Arts um, Infinite A dice to cut that. I've actually used my Gina K um, masking tape, uh, masking Magic, not for any reason, it was just, it was there. All right, what I do need to do is take it up. I know what to do, look. I need that circle to be near to the top as I can get it. So, they would do nicely. I've coloured, covered the whole lot of it because I just know I'm guaranteed to make a mess. So that looks about... About right, does that, doesn't it? Yeah, I've mucked it already. Not worried, it's gonna be all coloured in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're using a variety of blues. We are also using, I'm not sure if I use the new mask. Yes, I do, I use this one. This is the new um, hill mask from Lavinia. But I am using the old ones, the long ones. So what I'm gonna do, uh, which way did I do it? That way. Um, oh yeah, look, it matches up. Oh, brilliant. Oh, even better. Look at that. So, I didn't tape this down, so I'm risking it. But I did cut a new circle mask, just out of the same set. I just cut another moon mask, because my one I've had forever's. um proper monkey now and it's pulling another colour off so I'm just gonna look I've moved it already I mean it didn't have to stay exact to that but I know it worked it's not often one of my practices works you know straight off the bat but it did so I'm gonna stick with it All right that holds it for a bit anyway Right, what I'm doing, I'm using my 
large Lebanese brush. I just want to... This is the number nine, I think. Where's the number on it? Am I missing something here? I thought they had numbers on them. I'm sure they did. Yeah, they do. Because look, number seven. Unless it's worn off. Where's another big brush? Oh no, so the big brushes don't have it on. Fair dues. Never noticed that before. There's something new for you. Yeah, I, I used this one for the, all the blues. And I don't want to go in dark straight away. Right, let's start. So I went in with the Blue Lagoon. We're using Element Inks today. Nice change. And you can see how dark we're going to go. So I'm just taking this one all the way around. To be fair, you don't even see this one. But I just, I can't put a dark colour straight down. I have to do the build up first. So all the way around. So I don't even know how long it took me when I practiced it. I'm actually, I, I set out, I came up, I said to Andy, I'm fed up. I just can't come up with any ideas. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm getting really frustrated. And the fact that um, the videos weren't being watched by as many people. So I was, I said, it's probably because I'm doing just cards. I don't know, I'm not doing anything, you know, like scenes like I, I've done before. And they seem to do all right. Right, we're just each time staying away from the moon a little bit. Yeah, so he says, right, have you got a fox? I says, yes. Got a couple of foxes. He says, right, do a fox. Do a fox in the snow. So that's what I came up to do. Well, there you go. There you have it. There's no fox anywhere near this. So I didn't, I didn't do what he said. You know, like you do. I set out to, the whole idea was to do a fox, but then I thought, do you know what? I've not used pan yet. So I ended up using pan. Right, I like how that is. I'm going to move on to the next one. That was Della Blue. I'm now going to use dark denim. I don't know I've got a graphite there because I didn't use it today. Yep, dark denim. It's right in it, or is it midnight blue? Which one do I need? Oh yeah, definitely dark denim. So again, come in with this one. You think, my goodness, that's a dark colour. And then when I put the next one on it, we're like, oh my goodness. How's Christmas coming on for everybody? Everybody all gifted and bought everything. I've got one present left to buy, just the one. And relying on my son to get me what I need is, as in, as in information. Oh, it's hard work. But we're getting there, just the one to buy. It's been really hard this year because I've gone from spending so much money to now being unemployed and not being able to spend so much money. In with the last blue now. So I found it really, really hard, I'm not going to lie, to just cut so far back. Even like me and Andy, we're not, um, we're not buying. I mean, that... It doesn't bother me, but I mean, he's never been one for buying presents anyway. I've normally bought what I need and he'll just wrap it up. Which always did bother me, if, if I'm being honest. Because there were never any thought. But after 35 years together, you kind of get used to it. So, but yeah, having to cut back on everybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've struggled about it. 
I find it very hard. Right, I think that's dark enough. Just a little bit here I want. And although I've done my practice, but life in me, I can't remember what I did next. That's very nice. So this circle is not going to be a full circle. It's just mainly this bit that I want as a circle. It is still going to look circular, but a lot of this is just going to be done by... Um, just by hand if you like. Right, I think we're finished with them. I'm not sure. Let's just move them out. Don't we? Now... I know, oh I know I did, I took all this off because I didn't want to get the blue everywhere. So I'll keep that, but I am going to clean this one off because I'm going to use it again and I don't want to have that everywhere. Right, I remember that far. What did I do next? Well, for a fact, you can't see no hills. So I do know that I put that back on. I love having that already there from the last one. That'll do, I think. And they used a bit of yellow I think a bit of yellow and red just to do the moon that's enough for that and then I used the red one because I pulled it up into this and you might not be able to see it there but you can certainly see it on the in real life on the finished product. I don't know if you can see it. Mm, I'm trying to look through camera at the same time and I don't know if you can even see that. But I'm putting the tiniest bit of red to give the shape of the mountains. Yeah, it gives it like a purple hint to it there. And then I just did a little bit. I do chuck some different colours in it after and it just goes a bit, or oh, it did go a bit weird, if you like. Can't remember what I put in it, but could even be this. Yeah, it just gives it that shape. I don't know if it's very moony, but I have absolutely no idea. I need to get my tweezers out, what that is. Oh, please don't mess up now. I'm going to clean my hands. That's it, wipe them on the bum of my pyjamas. Right, so I'll finish with that one, I think. And then I'm going to use, this is one of the new ones. Now I don't know if I cleaned it, so. Ha, huh, no I didn't. And all I'm going to use this for is to bring down you know, from the mountain to make it look like that that mountain is going to be behind this front one. So that's the idea with this. And all I'm doing is putting a little bit You're not really going to see the line but I do darken it up a little bit and then you'll see it through trees. see what I mean so that it just looks like that one's behind it and while I've got this in my hand 
I'm just going to I mean this doesn't look like it does out either but honestly it does you can see this on the card it's just adding a bit of a blue hint to your mountain if you like be nicer with a fresh blue wouldn't it but I've just used the what's on my brush right I'll do, I'll do a bit more of that in a bit we are going back to this one no we're not where is now then did I use this Kind of like that there. So all I want is the this part. I'm not bothered about here because it's going to be covered up. So I've just mainly that part. I think what I'm going to do. This is the brush I used. That's it. I'm going to do it with a Della Blue first. So we don't go in too dark. And all I'm going to do is the same as what I did there, but just to define the shape, that's all. So what I'll do is I'll make some trees look like they're coming from here. Some will be behind that one. That's fine, isn't it? That looks all right, that. I just want a bit of this blue. This is the blue lagoon. I do want these to be just a little bit of a nicer blue. Like I say, you're not going to see much of it, but I'd rather you saw a nicer blue than, than not a nice blue. That's Lexi, you can hear snoring. Rosie's downstairs with Daddy. Right, that's okay for now. What we're going to do now is put a few trees in and then remove the whole thing before we carry on so we are using these can you see that and I think I'm only using maybe them two I might I think I only use one actually so let's see where it goes so I've got my platform. As you can tell, no, I haven't cleaned them up yet. Right, I think that's all we need to do there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What did I use? I used this one. And I used scraps of paper. If you use the masks, they're a tactic for me because once you start stamping, you don't get right up to the edge. So I just I just stick a piece of paper there and just do it like that. It's easier for me. So we're going to stamp in Versafine Black Nocturne. So I'm just going to put that there, not worried if it comes over a lot, but put that there. First one, and then second generation, maybe a third underneath it. Yeah, I can't see that much. So we're just going to stick a few of these in. Now then, what I want, I want a little path which will come from here. So I'm going to try and avoid 
just this little bit. I am going to put one tree in it. In fact, I'll do that tree now. And then I know where my limit is. So yeah, it's going to be on this side. And that's as far down as I'm going to come. I'll go back to doing these behind now. Right, I'm going to leave that at that side because we're going to have some more coming up anyway, so they could well even be covered up. I just want the head of this one a minute to do a couple behind this further one up. Now then, I only want second generation. That's all I want there. And I'm just going to put a couple here. Then we're going to remove that and put some bigger ones in. Now then, what did I do? What did I do? Let's go with... Go like this. I don't really want to be going up to edge because I'm going to sort of, you're going to still see that it's round but it's sort of going to, it's not going to be. I can't explain, I'll show you. Let's carry on here a minute. I think we'll just do this one. Um, I'll do it to the side because I'm going to put a bigger one up front. Oh, that was very inky. Hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm just having a quick look round it. I'm looking at the one in front of me, to be honest, because I liked it that much. I want it to stay that well. Right, I'm going to take, not going to use any more of them, but I'm going to use, so we're going to use the fir tree one, we're using the slimmer of the two. And I think I am going to remove. Right, please don't get mucky now. And I'm going to keep the mask because hopefully I can do some more. I really, really liked it. Isn't that reveal amazing? I mean, just that on its own is lovely. I'll stick that on the wall in front of me. Right. So we've still got to bear in mind that we've got a circle. That's not very good. That's spoiled that a bit. But it's okay. Right, what I'm going to do, where's pan? So I'm using pan, like I said, I'd never used him till today, so I was quite chuffed. And I want him to be about there. And we're also going to use um one of the whimsical airs and this one's going to come here so i'm going to leave these two with me now why have i got that one out did i not use that i must have oh i did use it yeah oh now then i can't remember which i used i'm going to remove that one for now we'll see no i definitely used it Come on, get a great woman. Right, so they're going to go down there and I want a path to come down through the middle. So that's just bearing in mind. I'm wondering where 
so this one's going to come see what I mean about it covering it up I didn't know where it was going to go so I'm going to bring him in there let's do that because I might not even need the other one I'm trying to make it on a smaller scale as well so that's not helping me right much so bearing in mind that I still want to sort of like keep the circle-ish image I better put it down ah! I'm going to take it off can't remember which I used some find out right I should have used this and kept it all how it was shouldn't I oh, she's really snoring I'm really sorry so I'm going to come in here which is going to be the start of my path round here and just use that much of it I think let's have a go from there put a little bit in do that now that's fine that's absolutely fine yeah that's the start of my path you'll understand Now I'm going to put this one in, because this one's going to go up the side. Oh, it's got all fluff on it. Oh! I'm guessing that's come off the wipes. Right, don't fall off. I had a feeling it was going to fall off. So I'm going to put him here. So I'm keeping him in my circle. Could it, maybe that could have been a bit further down as well but it's okay it's working so that side's actually done for now she says let's move on to the other side so thinking about where pan's gonna be you see i didn't i just put my trees up and then actually it worked so i might even just carry on doing the same so what i want Actually, I'm going to go back to my little tree, I think, before I put my big one in, because I want that there and second generation there. Let's do that. That's perfect. So you can sort of like see my path coming through now. I've never ever done a path in anything, I don't think. I might have done. Oh, I might have done right at the beginning actually, and that involved trees. There you go. Right, watch. We're going to use this one. I keep thinking they're going to fall off. They have been doing lately, so. Right, again, trying to keep it roundish, I'm going to come here. Let's have a look. I think I want one. Maybe a little bit further down. Let's go back to the 
Shall I pick a smaller one? Because we do have a smaller one. And Chelsea, do you know what? I think I might just use the top bit of this one because it's quite leafy and I, I like that. Yeah, it's quite leafy, is that? Where do I want it? This is so random. Oh, we like that. That's it. Well, this is definitely a different path to what I had before. See, even when you're copying, they don't look the same. So, I've got my circle-ish coming out. I might actually go in here with another one, I know. In here, about there. That'll be good. Mm, I'm just a bit worried that it'll be a bit... Let's have a look with that one. I don't want it to be too bulky and block up all the others. Circle, 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 circle. About there, about there. Let's just take that part of it. See, it looks a bit blotchy there, doesn't it? It's okay. We haven't finished. Right, and I'm just going to put pan in, but because he, um, I had to colour him in because he didn't work, I'm going to stick it in here. Right, where are you, kid? Where are you? Where's your mate? Yeah. Now, because I know I want to cut it down, I wonder if I lift him up a little bit. Oh no, he's right up in trees, isn't he? Um, I mean, I'm not bothered that he's in trees. That's how it worked last time. Hard work when you try to do it on a smaller scale. I used the 7 by 7 and then cut it down, which seemed to work, but that stalk, but I remember it being straight through the stalk. It was straight through his head on the last one, I know. Right, they're going there. That's fine. So it should take two stampings so that you can't see any of that behind him rather than me having to paint it in. Hopefully this will work. It's the same ink so it should be, should um, disguise it straight away. And when Pan's got his highlighting on, um, he's totally not mixed in with trees then. He stands out. Yeah, it's definitely going to need another coating. Now then, I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to squash, squash it out. Yeah. Good job of putting here though. Again, it might end up needing three. I'll get me two. Even though I don't want to squash it out, it just it still needs a bit of pressure. I'm so excited that I've used him. That's perfect, isn't it? You see, he looks a bit lost, doesn't it? But once you start putting your eye lighting in, he doesn't. 
honest, trust me. Right, I'll just leave them in there in a minute. I'll put them away when I've finished. Right then. Now I want to do a bit of... Right, what I used... This is Alton New Detail Blended Brush Number 5. And all I'm going to do, I think I used the Della. I'm going to give it a bit of, I'm using the, because it's slanted, I'm using this part of it. So I'm doing it on its back really. And I'm just going to, it will be different to that, but I'm more about, making little marks to make it look like it's, I don't know, just being brushed to the side. I don't know. Um, why is it not even marking it? Oh, there we go. So this sort of like still gives you, that is not marking that, unless I can't see it. Give it one more go and then I'm going to change colour. There you go, now it's doing it. It felt threatened, didn't it? So in a bit, I will go in with a, a darker colour as well. The difference with the is we've lost the shape of the mountain well we didn't on the first one i can see it so what i'll do oh rose is here do it same at this side as i did at the other but i'm going to try and highlight that mountain for you it's up there isn't it not there oh that's okay Looks like we've got more than one mountain. No, Rosie. Leave Lexi alone. She's a right tease. Yeah, that's a definite mountain there. That'll do. Oh, yeah, that's the other one, isn't it? Because I've lost... I don't, Done too many trees, I'm presuming. I've lost a lot of the definition. But now that you've got that back in, and then we're going to actually go in with some white and dull it. Right, let's carry on with the... So we're giving all the snow behind the trees a little bit of colour. And there's our little path, which will turn out to be a bit smaller when we finish putting these in. See, it sort of keeps a circle. This is what I meant. We're not keeping it properly, but it sort of keeps that little bit of... But we haven't finished. I'm going to come in with the next colour, which is the dark denim. And this is going to... Oh, I think Rose is getting turned off. That's better, isn't it? Do have a few of them through it? If 
for me it needed that. I don't know how anybody else does snow, but I needed that bit just to fill in that circle bit, if you like. White drawer. Now we are going to ground these two. Actually, I did do these two a lot lighter than the other one. Because I put footprints in, and I think I put the footprints in in this colour. That's okay. Right, I keep checking with the other one to make sure it's looking okay. I'm alright with that for now, until we go in with the next colour. Right, but what we're going to do first is get the pen pastel. We're using white. Is it called white? Or titanium white, or what's there? Yeah, titanium white. Yes, I've got yellow on one side of my brush, white on the other. So, what I'm going to do is where we've got the mountain, I'm putting it behind so that those trees look more like they're in the mist, in the snow, however you want to look at it. It really is quite effective. I know you can't see much of it on there, but if you look at that side and then look at the other side, there's a huge difference. So we'll put some behind up on this top one. And I know we didn't have one behind here, but I am going to make one. Just put a bit of that in behind it. I think that looks great. I'm more bothered about putting yellow in it. Oh, I like that. That's lucky. It's not smudged it, but it's toned it down. Ready for me to put my darker in. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Then we're going to take the little bit and go round the moon. I'd mainly do it on the inside because when we've got it on, I'm then going to brush it and you can just see it coming out both sides. What a glow that gives it, doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? It's good stuff, is that? That's so nice. Right. Right, you can probably skip this bit because I absolutely do not one bit like this bit. I'm taking it, mine's um, I'm rubbish signal pen with white pens, absolute rubbish. But I wanted to put some snow on the trees, but I put it on and then smudge it, and it still never looks right when I do it. I see other people do it and I think, God, how pretty is that? And then I do it and it's like, what have you done? Absolute rubbish. But we are going to splatter anyway, so. You can't even see mine when I do it. I'm just putting it on like tinsel, look. I think my other trees turned out better than this on the other one. Can't even see that tree. Like I say, 
don't even worry about this bit just leave it out because you're going to splatter and you don't see it right this for me was the challenge to make pan stand out so I'm putting a bit of pen down smudging it to give him the um, light from the light and if I don't like it I just put a bit of black in but it did work all right on on the practice there you go that's separated him already straight away bit on his face bit on his belly You could colour him in if you want, but it's too much time for me. There you go. Bit too much on his arm there, so I'll probably come in with a bit of black. You can't have tell the difference. I'll make him a bit more, his hat a bit more noticeable. There you go. I'll put a glitter bomb bomb, bomb bomb, bomb bomb on his head. Same with our little hair. In fact, it was the hair that I didn't like on the other one. That's why I put the black in. Yeah, I'm going to do the same again. Just shows it shaped on there. There you go. Might have just caught the moon there a little bit. Yeah. Let's put that bit of black in. Actually, I did use a brush. I used the brush because I didn't want it to be. Yeah, I squashed it on there and did it that way. I think that looks all right. So was a way of tidying it up. And what did I say on here? His arm on it. If I think on, I'll just do that bit of his arm again when he tries. But I'm okay with that. I think that looks absolutely fine. I'm going to put the mask back on. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to do a bit of splatter. In fact, I don't know why. Oh, it was just mainly to contain it in the circle, which I'm going to do. Because I didn't know what I was going to do on the outside, whether I was going to do some stenciling or what. But I ended up not doing. Now this is why you didn't need to bother with your trees. Because I think that's enough. It's up to you how much you put on, but I like a lot of splatter. 
especially when I'm trying to cover up the fact that I didn't do the trees to a high standard. See? See what difference it makes? Right, what's missing? Wash my hands. So I am going to use my, see I had everything out today didn't I, here it is, this is my number three and this is the, oh this only ever gets used on the twilight, and like I say I did this light before so I've probably, this isn't probably going to work now. It might do. No, where's the other one? I don't like what it's doing there. These are footprints, supposedly. That's a beautiful colour. And some more footprints. <laughs> it's cute. And I am still going to use this because this is what I'm going to come in and put on the bottom of my trees. When you have a piece of paper underneath it, I think you're not as afraid of going in a bit harder with your ink because you're not going to go any lower, are you? So, yeah, a lot better. And I think, oh look, I nearly missed that one altogether then. I think we are done. Sure I'm missing some of it, but put a few snow mounds on there. That looks good. Keeps it in that circle, doesn't it? Oh, I think that's lovely. Oh, I didn't put any of them on last one. I went round it with um, stickles instead, but I like that better. Come in there. There's bits I like about this one, and there's bits I like about the other one better. Right, last one. Well, I think that just looks lovely. I just want to make that one a bit more defined. I 
I love it a lot though. Get rid of that. I mean, I'm gonna do my cutting at the window, but I just want to, yeah, I'll do my cutting first because I'm not putting the stickles on while it's wet. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can cut this down first. I don't think my sheet will fit in here, that's why I cut it at the window. Now, what are we measuring? Six. I ain't gonna get that down to five and a half. No, it's not going to work. So, if I can just do a bit off each side. Take an half an inch off each side. Don't ask me where this is going because I've no idea. This is how square I wanted it. Five and a half. But it ain't going to work unless I cut that off the moon. Would that work? How would that look as a finished card? Oh no, I don't. If it had just moved them two up a little bit more. No, there'd be matting trees. No, that's fine. We'll mat it like that. So. Let me just see if it will fit. I'm going to have to make my own card base so it's not getting done today. Let's just get this on here. but you don't normally see me do. Let's get that. Hopefully this is level. It's not cutting very well. I ain't cut it level either. Let's have a look. Can't see. Just need a tiny bit off there, but then my tiny bits Take that right I'm not gonna stick it first in case I go wrong somewhere there oh that's cutting it at six that should be right then shouldn't it I know people use it by measuring the f f other bit first. This, I don't. I just put the picture in with it, me. Always have done. And that should have worked. That suits me fine. Ha, huh, I didn't have to put a window. Right, I'm going to stick that down. I'm very pleased with this one, really pleased. I don't know which is better, this one or the practice, but I'm pleased with the actual design. It's nice to do a, a scene again. They frighten me, that's why I don't do them. Same as reefs. Right, so last thing to do is a bit of stickles. And I'm using um, crystal. Am I using crystal? I didn't use crystal. What did I use? Oh, I must have used crystal because that's the other one I've got there. Oh no, I didn't. It's in a look. Frosted lace. That's what I used. And all I'm going to do now then, I didn't like how I'd done it on my other one. So on this one, I'm going to 
make it look like it's sloping down onto a hill. Hmm, don't know what to do. Right, I'll show you the other one. So this is the one I did as a practice. Um, oh, you can definitely see the red more on that one. But if you see, I kept more of the definition of the hill in this one. I didn't realise how many trees I put up, but it doesn't look bad. But the stickles, I came down like that and I didn't like it. And I put a bit at the sides. Shall I still put a bit at the sides? I didn't put any of these divots, if you want to call them that. Let's... I do it like that, then it matches what we've already done there. But if I go under them, there you have it. That's it. I'm not going overboard with it. That's why I put it on here first, so we could put them on. Right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. I've really enjoyed doing it for a change. Yeah, don't worry about your lines on your trees. Honestly, just sprinkle. I love it. Right, I'm going to go, guys. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. But there you go. Right, I'm off. Have fun crafting. Bye.